What's good peeps? Morning man. Just a quick one here. Yeah. I thought I'd tell a little story in the video about not being greedy and why you should always try and see the long goal than the short term goal um, to get the most out of any opportunity. So like, <laughs> it's so bad. Like, I just had a flashback about this year. So obviously, you don't know now. I do my comedy show, Time to Laugh. And um, yeah. I've been looking for a, a production company to help me film the show. So I had a conversation with some guys and they were like, basically, they're willing to invest in my idea. and uh, But they want to see some examples of it, more examples of it, yada, yada, yada. So I said, cool. I've spoken to this production company now, which happened to be a friend of mine's joint venture with somebody else. So they put me through to the other person, the other person I don't really know that well. And, um, yeah, so I was like, look, yeah, I've got my shows ready running. You don't know how to film. It's not rocket science what I want to do. This is it. But I'm happy to split it with you equally, innit? So everyone gets roughly about the same amount. So, anyway, now, this is something as well for you guys. Whenever you're going to do an agreement, go into a, uh, an agreement together. Make sure, obviously, try and get a contract done. And it's in black and white, so everyone knows where they stand. So if someone's meant to get one pound... They don't turn around later and say they're meant to get two. That's just my idea of it anyway. So, I've, <laughs> I've uh, present opportunity. Everything's ready to go. Whoops. Everything's ready to go now. Then, something tells me, like, obviously I'm going to read the contract anyway, but something tells me, like, when I got it, I was like, no, I'll read it now. I'll read it properly. So, I've read it. And please believe the person has basically tried to basically do me over. They've done a deal where basically they, they get equal percentage but the actual show which is my show and i've created because they filmed it they own the rights to it that like fully own the rights so if it gets sold to a third party which the plan was to be basically i have to buy off them in order to sell it to the other people or pay them out some mad extra amount of money i was like are you for real like i couldn't believe it like obviously i phoned my boy that i knew that's been in the situation he was like, right, he didn't too, too know. So I was like, cool, trust him. So I spoke to the other guy. He was like, yeah, da, da, da. I was like, bro, why would you do this? Like, man's willing. Obviously, you know how to film. I've got the content. Like, we come together. We split it. Simple. Like, this is how I do business. God made us with two hands. So, do you know what I mean? It's only fair. We split it. We divide it, yeah? He didn't make us with one hand. So, the guy's like, no, 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 da, 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 da. Anyway... The deal ended up falling to bits. Nothing did go ahead. Go ahead. Um, not only because of that situation, but because something else as well. So I was like, cool, innit? Obviously, lesson learned. Then, lo and behold, and we three, four months later, lockdown happens. What is everyone having to do during lockdown? Stay in their house. What can anyone do? Watch TV. I had content that I was trying to create. I get a call. It wasn't just one production company. I presented an idea to like three or four. But one is one of them obviously I was gonna go with. I get a call from the initial production company first, and they're like, Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, you was right. I was too short side. Like shit. Imagine if we had released this content now during lockdown, it would have blown up. Da -da -da. I'm like, yeah. Like obviously I saw the vision. I don't know what it was, yeah. Something was telling me to create this content and pull it out. I was having this vision for about a year. Obviously, it didn't come to fruition yet. Um, but yeah, I was like, bro, like, he was like, oh, yeah, this is this. I was like, bro, like, imagine, like, you fucked up, basically, you fucked it up for everyone, like, the whole thing, just from one person being greedy, like, and this is what I wanted to speak about today about greed and being too, I don't know what the word is, but trying to be too clever in the situation to get the most out of it. Sometimes just accept everyone having an equal share of pie. Now, us as a community, especially within a black community, this was a black person as well. I was like, this is why we don't win. Like, and the lesson with the gods, the other production companies, a couple of them called me back and I was like, bro, like shit, da, da, da. like they saw the vision now, innit? Of, at the point of when the vision should have been started. And I was like, bro, da, 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 da. I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I was trying to tell you, man, you man weren't trying to hear me from, like, it's mad, like, another thing as well, like, a lot of people from our community, I don't know if they, they th might think they know everything, 
and sometimes they're not willing to say yes or open to opportunity they can't see the long-term vision we need to open our eyes open our minds and stop being greedy like please <laughs> you what and the thing about it it's not just about you it's about helping us obviously everyone in our generation and the generation below and the generation after like us doing that project which i was trying to do would have opened the doors for loads of other people coming after us like it's about generational wealth like generational growth all that kind of stuff but yeah man it just dawned on me like if you're one of those people that's about to do a business deal right now and you're thinking to be clever and try and do someone over be greedy all that kind of stuff don't bother drop it out man because it's only going to backfire on you at the end of the day big up